if we live in God's love, we live in a perpetual state of heaven. Heaven, right here on earth. It says in 1 John 1, verse 7, If we walk in the light, we have fellowship with one another. Well, what is the light? It is an illumination, a higher vantage point, an ability to see and sense the good in others, to not be blind to the good and the love that is everywhere present. I pray that divine love fills your life. And I pray that your life is filled with love and harmony and order. And I pray that because of this, you are at peace. Now, sometimes it seems easier to act in a courteous and a loving manner toward a stranger than it is with someone that we must deal with on a daily basis. Daily annoyances tend to get under our skin, our emotional skin, because we cause in ourselves to get upset over things that have upset us before. And we are upsettable. One person told me, and I laugh every time I think about it, 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 she said to me, well, he knows how to push my buttons because he installed them on me. Well, if someone knows where your buttons are, sometimes they will try to push those buttons. But if you're immune, it does not bother you anymore. And then over time, even those that attempt to push your buttons, no longer push because it doesn't work. When we feel frustrated in coping with a member of our family, a neighbor, a co-worker, let us cover our sensitive emotional skin with a new protection not an armor so much as a cloak of God's divine love. When we are covered in divine love, we feel it first, and other people feel it when they're in our presence. Let us realize that although all of us are working toward perfection, we may not have achieved it yet. I know I haven't, and I would venture to say you haven't, but we're working on it, aren't we? Instead of being frustrated by what another has or has not done, let us learn to behold and appreciate more than their words and actions. Let us see beyond. Let us see the good that is in them. And if we're blind to it in the moment, we need to pray to see it. And then when we behold that Christ spirit within people, we absolutely know that they have a potential for perfection. And then our divine love will fill our lives because we will tend to want to water and nurture that potential for perfection. And like we water a plant, we can water others and we'll see it grow in front of our eyes. Divine love will fill our lives with harmony and will fill our lives with order. I pray the divine love fills your life today with harmony and order. And I pray that every aspect of your life is at peace.